Right, Mark Wolf was biking home from his job at the San Diego Zoo when an SUV backing out of this parking lot here along Congress Street struck him, throwing him into the opposite lane of traffic where a second vehicle hit him, leaving him a quadriplegic. He went from this young man who was excited to be a grandfather to now tortured. He essentially lived through a slow death and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Bedridden in a nursing facility, Wolf, who had been an extremely active man, died from sepsis in September 2022, 17 months after the accident. He didn't want somebody else to have to go through what he was going through. Wolf's daughter, Denise Simmons, filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city as well as property owners, alleging the design of the street and the lot led to dangerous road conditions, including overgrown vegetation blocking the driver's and cyclist's views, which has since been cut down and the city's designation using sharrows of these lanes serving as both roadways and bike lanes lanes that were often blocked by parked cars due to a lack of red zone curbing eliminating sight lines for both cyclists and drivers in the wake of this lawsuit the city has now extended the red zone here along congress to keep parked cars from blocking view corridors along the street it's a step in the right direction. Attorney Joseph Dix is part of the family's legal team. Demonstrates their willingness to listen, and we hope that they will continue to listen. Denise Simmons hopes that these changes will help prevent another catastrophic accident like the one that changed her family forever. And it makes me feel like I'm fulfilling what my dad wanted to see, what my father wanted to see happen. And we're seeing a safer road here in Old Town. And the city attorney's office did not return our request for comment on this settlement, which was finalized today by San Diego City Council.